everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I have an Ulta haul to share with all of you guys. It's not really a big haul, but I thought it was worth sharing. Um, I needed a new brush head for my Mia Clarisonic and I decided to go with something a little bit different this time. I've heard a lot of things um, about this brush head so I thought I would try it out and then I needed a new bronzer and then what else did I get oh and I got a cleanser too but I'll get into that in a little bit so first things first I got um some my like, handout stuff I got you know this coach it's not even really a sample I feel like people rub it on their skin and it doesn't like do anything so whatever um, I got my return label. I'm not going to go through all this. Let me get into the samples first. I chose the perfume samples and I got three of them. Very tiny samples. Uh, the first one is Euphoria by Calvin Klein. This is supposed to be exotic fruits, a rich blend of black orchid and sensual woods. That's what that one looks like and I have not smelled it yet. Um, the vial isn't even fully, what do I want to say, full. Like, there's some missing out of it. I don't know. Not a big deal. I suppose I can smell it with you guys here now. Yeah, it's pretty, like, classy, like, nighttime, evening. I would definitely not wear this during the day at all. And I don't really think I like it. It's kind of too strong for me. And then the next one is by Dolce & Gabbana. This is Poor Home, I believe. Why would you name a perfume Pour Home? Pour is in P-O-U-R, home as in H-O-M-M-M-M-M-E, whatevs. I don't know. This says it's a masculine fragrance. Well, Jesus Christ. Why would I want it? I'm going to have to give this away to somebody. Okay. And then I thought this was really cool by Benefit. I got Laugh With Me Lily. This is a flirty and feminine woody floral scent. And they gave it to me in a car jar, which are not really, I'm thinking Yankee, like Yankee on my mind. But yeah, a little car deodorizer that I can hang up. So I thought that that was really nice and cool. So that was my sample. I don't know why I thought I was going to be getting more samples, but whatever. So let me show you first. Um the cleanser that I got. I've been using Burt's Bees for a while now for my cleanser. Um, this is the new Brightening Daily Facial Cleanser with a Daisy Extract. It's brand new. They just released it. And I um, have been using the Intense Moisturation, Moisturation, Intense Moisturizer Daily facial cleanser because I'm from Wisconsin and my skin gets really super dry in the winter and um, fall months but I thought I would change it up a little bit since I had such good luck with the brand I thought I would get their new brightening so I got this and I don't think that there's a moisturizer that goes with this yet but if there is I will definitely be purchasing it and this was ten dollars I believe for six ounces but the other one lasted me um, I still actually have some left from fall, winter, and into spring, so really good. And then the bronzer that I got is by Physicians Formula, and this is Happy Booster um, Skin Perfecting Glow Mood Boosting Effect, and this is in number 7321. And if you guys have this, please leave a comment down below. I think the packaging is really cute. They didn't have the one that I wanted, so I actually went to Walmart and got the one that I wanted. Um, I had to add to this order to get my shipping for free, so I thought, why not add a bronzer? But like I said, they didn't have the one I wanted, so I got this one. I went to Walmart, picked up the one that I had or that I wanted, um, and I. I don't know. The packaging, it's cute, but it kind of is cheap in a way, I think. But anyway, so this is the packaging. Sorry about the sun glare here. And um, basically what you do, I think you open it. No, I guess you don't. Oh, no, you open it over here. It almost looks like there's scratches on the top of it. It's kind of weird. But anyway, it opens up, and then this opens up here, and your brush is on the bottom which is really cute. 
But um, yeah, so I'm happy to be trying this out. The only thing I don't like is when you open it sometimes on my, yeah, when you open it, like the bottom automatically opens and I don't really like that because I would never use that brush that they sent. I just, I don't like the puny little brushes. But anyway, so I got that, so I'll be testing that out. And then my brush head, I got the Clarisonic Luxe Cashmere Cleanse High Performance Facial Brush Head. Now, um, I ordered this because I saw a bunch of people getting the Luxe. This was $30 just for the brush head alone. Um, I've used it twice. I used it once last night and then once this morning. Um, I was really leery when I took it out of the package. I have it attached to my Mia right now. But um, I don't know if you guys can see. Well, here's the brush, the brush head. And it literally feels like feathers. Like it is that light. Like it feels like feathers just kind of tickling your skin. I'm used to a brush head that is a little bit harsher, um, a little bit harder, and I feel like, I don't know, I almost feel like I'm not quite sure if this is going to get my makeup off my face, but in the same respect, I don't know if it's going to really get into the pores of my skin. You know, you're not supposed to really tap or you're not supposed to rub hard on the skin you're supposed to do it really gently and I just don't feel like it would get into the pores of my skin at all not at all so I don't know like I said I used it last night I used it this morning my face felt clean last night um after I used it but in the same sentence it's like mm, I don't know so I like the feel of it. I don't know about the performance of it yet. I still have to give it some time, I think. But So if you guys have this um, brush head, leave a comment down below. Am I doing something wrong? Am I supposed to be pressing harder? Um, you know, I take my eye makeup off first uh, before I even touch my Clarisonic myself. And then uh, basically what I do is just wet my face. Um, I dab the soap onto my skin and then use the Clarisonic um, you know, like you're supposed to, um, you know, first the forehead, then the T-zone, then the cheeks and such like that. So, yeah, but that is my Ulta haul. Sorry it wasn't bigger. Um, but, yeah, it's Ulta's kind of expensive for me. Like, I usually try just to go to Walmart for any of my products, like beauty products, like makeup and bronzers and cleansers and all that kind of stuff. But, um... I thought I would just go and try it because I really wanted to try this, the Clarisonic Lux. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And remember, if you do have the Lux brush, leave a comment down below and let me know how you like it. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye, everyone.